Hey guys, so I'm just starting with my silicone molds. These are all from Amazon. I will have them linked below for you guys if you're interested. And I'm just mixing up my epoxy. This is a two to one ratio. I'm testing it out. It's really great for molds. So hopefully it's coming soon. But yeah, just mixing that up and then pouring some off into some separate cups to do different colors. And I use this really pretty kind of aqua color of pigment paste also coming soon from Colorflex. But I was inspired by this photo I found on Amazon of these really beautiful aqua agate coasters. So that's kind of the look I was going for. Then mixing up this deeper teal with pigment paste, I added a little bit of green because I wanted it a little more that kind of turquoise aqua color. Then mixing up a little bit of pearl mica powder and a little bit of white pigment paste. So first just pouring out a bunch of the aqua color to start with. So with this teal color, I just kind of drizzled it on there and I thought I had ruined it at this point. I did not know what I was doing. Um, I really felt like it was just going to look horrible. So I'm kind of like, what am I doing? And I added more of this color. This set right here just goes to show like if something is not going how you thought, don't give up. Just keep working with it. And a lot of the times it ends up turning out really cool. So then just taking the white and uh, with the coasters, I was doing the top two kind of the same and the bottom two the same. I like when there's, you know, four coasters to have two kind of matching sets and they're just like a little bit different. I think it's really nice to have a little bit of variety. So just adding also a little bit of pearl or I always call pearl I always call it pearl. It's actually opal, opal mica powder, and then more of the white on those coasters. So then with the trays, I just kind of blended it all together with my finger. Then going in with some white. Kind of drizzling it all over the place. And also using some pearl and pearl, opal, opal mica. Then this is just the clear I had left over. Um, I really love just adding clear on top of the color. It kind of gives it this really kind of natural looking little like pockets of see-through and clear spots. So I really suggest doing that if you're trying to make something look more natural. So then using the heat gun to really just blend this all together. I usually don't blend it this much, but I really felt with this one, I had to, to get it to look good at all. just kind of using the heat gun to kind of blend and move things around a bit. So then I wanted to blend it even more. I just felt like I just really wanted those colors really blended and just kind of more even, if that makes sense. And this step really made a difference with these. I'm using just some alcohol with the opal mica inside it says pearl it used to be pearl but you can see how it just kind of makes all those little colors kind of separate and 
just give it this really cool textured look. So that really, really helps to make anything look more natural, like a natural stone or natural agate or anything like that. Spraying alcohol is really gonna help. So then about 30 minutes later, I wanted to add some handles. So I chose these really pretty gold ones and I had little matching smaller ones. So just kind of set them in there, made sure they were even and let it cure. Do these really small, cute ones. These handles are also from Amazon. Later that night, I wanted to add a second layer. I forgot to mention that when I first pour these, I made sure to only fill it about halfway because I knew I wanted to do a second layer. So I'm just pouring off a little bit and adding a little bit of white into it. So then just pouring out the clear on top. Spreading it out evenly over the molds. So then I'm just using a heat gun again to remove any bubbles. drizzling on the white. I kind of liked how this was looking a little bit like lines and streaks, but then also kind of little dots. So I just kind of moved it around a little bit with the stick, kind of spread some little spots out. Coasters, just kind of adding a little bit of the white just to kind of make the top layer a little more interesting. Then again, using the heat gun to just move and blend that white out a little bit. And just with adding layers on things, you can really add that depth and just give it the extra dimension and just give it such a more realistic look. So adding another layer on coasters or trays or anything is always a great idea if you feel like anything is looking a little flat. Then the next morning, just taking them out of the mold. And I'm 
taking these out so quick and easy because I do use a mold release spray. I'll have the one linked down below that I use. It's just from Amazon. But if you don't use a mold release spray or silicone release, mold release, something like that. But if you don't use one of those sprays, your epoxy can stick to the mold and it can ruin the mold. It can ruin your tray um, or coasters. So just, I always, always, always use those and I always suggest using them because it makes your life so much easier. And you can really see here the reflection of the opal mica, just the effect that it gives on the top, just that kind of really cool shimmer. So then to finish off these trays, I just take a really fine sandpaper and sand just that outer edge just to get that, there's like a kind of hard line. So I just kind of sand that down just a little bit, just so it's not hard or sharp. I just wipe it off with a paper towel to get any dust off. Then taking the Craft Smart Metallic Gold paint pen and just drawing gold on the sides to finish it. So then on the top, I like to kind of line on the top as well to kind of make it look more of that like gold dipped where they do with the real agate and stuff. But these pens are just such an easy way to finish off any coasters and trays and just give them that more elegant finished look. get any where you don't want it just use a little alcohol on a paper towel and it will wipe right off so then here's the completed set this is seriously my favorite set of trays that I've ever done and I just love how they turned out and it makes me think of summer gives me all the pretty summer aqua vibes and I'm loving it so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.